The last new story today that we're going to cover is uh, actually a rumor from a Nintendo Life, uh, as per their sources. Rumor, Persona 5 S expected to arrive on Nintendo Switch this fall. Uh, ever since Nintendo revealed Joker from Persona 5 uh, would be added to Smash Bros. Ultimate as a playable DLC fighter, there have been ongoing rumors that the Persona series come uh, about the Persona series coming to the Switch. Atlas fueled speculation when it's registered multiple domains last December and then confirmed the existence of Persona 5R, also known as P5R, with a teaser trailer and official website launch in December. Uh, in the latest development, a reliable leaker who previously spoke about Persona 5R ahead of its reveal has taken to Twitter to reassure fans a Switch release is happening, according to Mr. Oh Yeah. Uh, wow, that's a that's a name. Who goes by the Twitter handle Jared Oh Yeah? Uh, Atlas will be releasing Persona 5S on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 this fall. Uh, uh, and then it has his tweets. Uh, he didn't stop there, though, suggesting that they that they would all be revealed in the month of May. And so I don't know why there would be a Persona event in March and then another one in May, but unless it's it's happening around another Nintendo Direct, but we'll see. Uh, but Persona Five is a game that people have been wanting on Switch for a long time. Uh, I really don't know how that works because I really thought that Sony had some sort of like not not uh, exclusive deal, but like a some sort of monetary kind of funding in Persona. Um, I don't know. They don't. Uh, it's just that uh, because Atlas owns the Persona, and uh, I, I know Atlas owns Persona, but I always thought I, Sony would like like gave them money to make it exclusive at some point. Uh, no, uh, because of Persona and Shin Megami Tensei being separate and switching, uh, Persona just was su- successful on uh, Sony's platform. Because most of Atlas games have been on Nintendo consoles, so Nintendo would have Nintendo would mostly have paid for um, any kind of development to get Persona Five if if they wanted to, but they just chose not to. Um, Due to, due to that fact, and I think because of Shin Megami Tensei, uh, now that's bigger than Persona being on Switch. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei has been a big thing on Sony for the past ever since PlayStation Two, and now that that's coming more uh, on Nintendo's platform over Sony. Yeah, because Persona- wasn't wasn't oh. wasn't four and whatever like you know kind of updates to four weren't they mm-hmm. all? They were all on 3DS kind of exclusively, right? Yeah. So, so uh, I think more people, I mean, because of Joker, you know, being something when they chose, a lot of people were just like, oh, it's the Persona series getting it. I'm like, no, it could happen. Not saying that it should happen. Uh, well, my thing has always been like, I, I think Persona will make it over to Switch, but not in the way that people want it. I think mm-hmm. it's going to be the like those dancing games for three and five. I would prefer more of a sequel to Persona Q, or or well, Persona uh, Q two is coming to 3ds. So okay, well, probably Persona, then Persona Q for Switch. I think that would happen more likely than Persona Five coming to Switch. Um, it, it, Nintendo said that they're trying to go do the unexpected with Smash characters. And this was very unexpected with Joker coming. Now, just because Nintendo is having Joker in Smash doesn't guarantee anything uh, happening for the Persona series coming to it. Persona to Persona as the main series feels right on, on PlayStation. I mean, um, we've, we've had Smash characters that never appeared on Nintendo consoles before. I mean, well, until now, like Cloud, you know, Cloud was on, on, on Wii U, the yes. Wii U version of Switch, way before he was even, uh, before Final Fantasy VII ever made its way over, and it's still not. I mean, it's coming out eventually, but like, you know, I think that was more of a. I don't think Nintendo was planning on ever having Final Fantasy VII on on a Nintendo platform before they got Cloud, right? Yeah. Or you know. Solid Snake, I know Twin Snakes was on GameCube, but like that series never really resonated on a Nintendo platform. You know what I mean? Yeah, but because of Metal Gear as the series started out on NES, 
Well, it started, on, Solid. it started on an MSX and then ported. What that issue? Yeah. Uh, I, I think here for America that we recognize it on NES, though. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I, my, I know my whole you're, you'll be historically correct. Yeah, yeah. Because it uh, MS MSX in Japan. You're 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 definitely correct. Yeah, with that. it was funny. I saw <laughs> I saw this meme floating around the internet the other day. It said Nintendo's making PlayStation All Stars better than Sony did, and it just was a picture of Joker, Cloud, and Snake. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was it was pretty funny. So, uh, but uh, Jesse, your thoughts on it? I'm oh, sorry. Um. Well. I don't know. I like. I just. It's kind of a bummer. I would like to see Persona Five on on Switch, mm-hmm. like just because I think I think it would it would sell a lot. Like like I think it would just be completely worth it for for them to to put the money into doing that. But you know, as far as that goes, yeah. But um, but like as far as like and with the smash and all that stuff, like it's. You know, it's cool. I guess you know that they're bringing some of the characters in there, regardless if it doesn't happen. But yes, yeah, but yeah. And I think the the from the role playing uh, RPG base or JRPG base, um, since they're getting Dragon Quest S, Persona Five R would complement them in a sense. I just don't think that. I just don't think right now, doing that this announcement will happen the thing uh, is too is like this year is just getting too crowded already you know yes. what i mean like i as much as i want persona 5 on switch like it, it if they didn't do it this year and like say they made the announcement that it was coming to switch but it wasn't coming till like next like maybe january february ish like yeah i feel like that would be way better time slot and it would sell yeah, way I don't... better than like Dude, look at I mean look at look at this fall already, man. Like it's there this yeah. whole year in general. Like there's so much coming out already. That, look at look at, look at April and May in particular, right? Like and we had that right. conversation like look how full they're getting. Like there's no way something like I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm sure the Persona fans would flock in but like if you want more people to buy the game than just the Persona fans or RPG fans, like you need to put it out in a window where it's not so crowded. Right, like Persona Five, we ha- literally Persona Five for Switch would just have to come out in December because everything is full. You don't want to put Persona Five when Pokemon comes, Sh- Sword of Shield comes out. That that's yeah. crazy. I don't think it would come out until next year if it did. I right. mean, you've got because honestly, I think it's going to take a little bit of work to get it to to port it to port over, anyways. So yeah, plus right. like plus like. Like you said, Ed, we have two major RPGs coming out this fall, and, po- and po- well, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then Dragon Quest S. Like I, the, the that we have we have RPGs this fall, plus all the Final Fantasy dump coming out in April. So, Dude, and, and then we got we also got Fire Emblem Three Houses in July. Like, yeah, we're stacked, oh, and, we have, and we have do, and we have like the uh the Square Enix game, the Okinawa or something like that. Oh. Like, uh, like yeah. we got all of that stuff coming out, and Persona Five. Like I said, it would be good to, for it to come out to Switch, but it's just like there's so much already on this system. I think we, I think we're up to November. From from this month to November, we got straight list of games that we're probably going to be looking at to buy on well, Switch. Plus- we got so have to turn out. Plus, the theory is that Nintendo—I mean, Nintendo's not afraid of December—and the big rumor is that Bayonetta three is going to come out in December. So, because you know, that's—I could see that. Well, Bill yeah. Tren- Bill Trennan did say that everything mentioned in the direct was coming out this year, and so they mentioned Bayonetta. So now everybody thinks that Bayonetta three is going to be their December game, in that slot where Smash and Xenoblade came out. Yeah. So, which I wouldn't mind that. I think that's a fine slot for Bayonetta, like. You're not gonna you're not gonna put it, you know, theoretically Zelda in October and Pokemon in November. You're not gonna put it in the same month as those two. It does right. it has a hardcore following that's gonna buy it anyway, but it also won't really attract like the broader audience until you know people start talking about it. So you want that hardcore audience to go out and buy it to spread the word. So I think December is like the perfect spot for that. But 
Yeah, because I feel like you need you need Zelda, you need Link's Awakening in September. You need Luigi's Mansion for October. You need Pokemon for November, and then Bayonetta for December. Mm-hmm. You have those four because you can finish Link Link's Awakening within three to four days. It's not a long game unless they add an extra content that we don't know about. Yeah, Luigi's- I don't. I still don't think it's going to be a super long game. I, it's right. probably going to if they add anything to it. It's probably going to be like a to do everything and get you know 100 percent it unless they ha- have hidden secrets and stuff like you said if they're adding stuff to the game which i don't think if they're going to add stuff it's not going to be that big of, of a thing like maybe yes. they'll retool some of the dungeons or add a switch specific dungeon but like on top of that like i don't see that game really being longer than like 20 hours yes so oh oh nintendo Add the original and color versions to the game of Link's Awakening.